What's happening, musician friends? Matt Vanacoro here with our friends at Gig Performer, and today we're going to take a look at controlling multiple parameters from plugins with a single widget. So that's a little difficult to do sometimes, and in Gig Performer, there's a way to do it now that's really great that'll let you simplify and clean everything up, clean your screen up, clean your process up. So there's times where you're going to want to control a lot of things, but you don't want to reach out to control and touch a lot of knobs or reach up to the screen with the mouse and click a lot of knobs. So the first thing I'm going to do is assume that you know how to uh, assign a widget to a parameter. If you don't, we've got a great video explaining that. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, so that you can catch these new videos when we drop them. All right, so I've got Reactor 6 here in my wiring diagram. You'll see it's a typical, you know, Moog clone type thing. I got my cutoff and resonance. Let me check it out. Okay, yeah, and I can adjust the cutoff to make it edgier and the resonance to make it really glitch out. Okay, so those are the things that I like to adjust a lot when I'm using a Moog clone. I'm sure that's not unusual. It's the stuff that you guys probably like to adjust when you're using a Moog clone. Um, but what I want to do is first I want to get them so that I can control them. So I'm going to go to the uh, rack space and go to the editor. Let's drop in two knobs really quick. I'll drop in a metal knob and then a dark metal knob. All right, we'll align them both. Select them, just tap T to kind of line them up. All right, so now they're nice and neat. I'm kind of OCD. I like everything neatened up a little bit. So I'll click on that first one, all right, and let's assign that to the plugin Reactor 6, and I'll go ahead and assign that to Cutoff. I'm going to go to the second one, and I'm going to do the same thing with Resonance. And again, I apologize if it feels like I'm moving fast. We do have a video that breaks all this stuff down a little bit slower for you if you need to. So I've got these two um, things assigned now, and they work. So I can easily just go to Panels. I can play something. I'll play a sound. There we go. All right, everything's working as it should. It's making that nasty sound when I adjust it, or it's closing up to be nice and simplified when I open it. But as I said, what I want to do is I want to simplify this a little, because imagine this times five or six. I don't want to have all those knobs on the screen. I would like it so that I can make this just one knob, and it adjusts cutoff and resonance. So it's kind of like just making an edginess knob. I know that behind the scenes it's adjusting cutoff and resonance, but as far as the user on the front panel knows, they're just adjusting edginess and turning it, and then that's going to adjust it. So we can do that, all right? So what I'll do is this. We'll go back. We're in the editing window, right? And I'll go to this one. I'll go to the first knob, and I'm going to pop it in a group. So I'll pop it in group A, and I'll also pop resonance in group A. So now when I turn either one, they're going to both move. Wow. Now we're really cooking, all right? Now the other thing I want is the great thing about groups is that it's just grouping the physical knob turning, but you can still adjust the curve. You know, uh, Gig Performer's got custom curves, so I don't need to allow resonance to flip all the way over to 100%. I can have them going at different scales, which I love doing that. So I'll go to Edit, I'll go to Resonance, and what I'm going to do here is go to Value, and from here, I'm just going to click open that graph, and I'm going to scale it a little bit. I'm going to tell it that it can't go past 80%. And let's just say I always want to have a little, little resonance. So let's have it say minimum is 15%. All right. So now, when I go back to the front, check it out. I move it. It never gets to that feedback -y level, which is great because that's what I'm looking for, right? If I'm playing this in a big sound system, I don't want to blow everyone's ears out. All right, so now I got them grouped together. I only have to adjust one knob, but again, I am a simplified kind of guy. What about if I don't want to see both knobs? I just want to have one and call it, that's my edginess knob. Makes my synth edgy as I turn it. Well, you can do that. I'll go to edit, and what I used to have to do was I used to have to click on this and put it behind the other knob. So I'd click that, right click and hit send to back. And now, you know, but now, and shrink it down, make it really tiny, but you don't have to do that anymore. Great thing we've got now in Gig Performer 4. You just click on it and you just go over to general and click hide. And now it's gone. And if you want to, if you really don't want to see it, even in the editing mode, you can make it super small, stick it behind there. Look at that, you don't even see it. It still works, you're just not looking at it. 
So now when I go to the panel and I turn my cutoff knob, yep, still adjusting that resonance, but you're only seeing one thing. And if I wanted to, I could just drop a tape label in there and go ahead and just call it edge, you know? And there you go. Of course, I probably want to make the font a little bigger, make it easier to see. Let's go ahead and make it nice and huge. We say we go with 50. Yeah. So there it is. There's my edge. And I got it to just one single uh, knob. Now remember, anything I put in that group A will be connected to that. So I could hide a bunch of stuff. And I could have one ultra super mega knob that's controlling a ton of different parameters. And I don't have to think about it. And even better, if I don't want to take my hands off the keyboard, let's get fancy here. I could map it to a pedal, an external MIDI pedal. So now I just tap that pedal and man, I got my EQ pulling out of the low end a little bit. I got my filter kicking in. I got resonance, maybe even a little drive effect pushing in a little drive, all from one knob, the edge knob there. So you think about it, the possibilities are limitless. You can do a lot and it's nice and simple and you don't have to see all those different controls on the screen. You can limit it to one single knob if you want to. Check it out with Gig Performer.